Look at this. Look at this. This is a bodysuit and my Christmas PJs. PJs from Walmart. I love these things. They're so comfy. Anyways, hi everyone, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I am so excited to be doing this one. So as you guys know, I've been covering so many different TikTok fad scams, so much more on this channel. And today I wanna dive into the absolute toxicity of the TikTok health fads and scams going on as well. Take this supplement for this problem and this, and it just becomes excessive. And I know I actually talked about this in a previous video, which I'll have pop up over here about many problems when it comes to TikTok in general. But I wanna kinda dive into some of the very insane things when it comes to TikTok's health fads, heavy metal detoxes, deworming, like some of the weirdest, the most illogical shit we can possibly think of, what we're reacting to today. For up in today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and click the bell button down below. Now let's get into it. Actually, okay, just kidding. If you guys literally wanna actually like get into it, get into it, timestamp drive down below, skip on over, okay? But really quickly, a couple things I just wanna tell y'all. I don't think a lot of my viewers know all the content and work that I do on my platforms and I have a lot of passions and a lot of stuff that I am doing. So I actually really quickly want to let you guys know a little bit more about my second channel because I think there's a lot more on there. This is my second channel, by the way. So I've been starting to do the am I the asshole reactions, crazy stories that you find on Reddit where we react, we joke every single Friday. I'm so excited to say I'm kind of revamping my podcast. So if you guys do or don't know, I've just always called my subscribers angels. It literally has no religious context for me. When I think of angels, I'm like, oh my God, like my perfect, amazing subscribers it's essentially for all of my angels and all my sweethearts to come on over and we have conversations about real problems. And this month, actually, we've been talking about things like toxic friendships, how to get through that. There's so much that I want to dive into. And we also talked about imposter syndrome as well, which is a huge thing. Pretty much like if you're questioning your capability of something, if a lot of self-doubt, I essentially walk you guys through it. My goal was just to make it like sitting down and having a conversation with like a best friend, you know? I'm done yapping. Let's get into this shit. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so the first thing I want to talk about that, oh my God. A portable hydrogen rich generator. That's what this is. So you guys, I was with my brother-in-law this weekend. He had told me about this, I want to say like two months ago. And I, the, con, the company contacted me. I ended up saying, yes, I really want to try this. So I haven't personally done this, but water is not hydrogenated or does not have hydrogen in it. So what does this do? You add the water and it, makes the water hydrogen rich. So I was reading up on it because I don't know much. I needed a moment, my bad. About that, but what's cool about this is it says it repairs cells, and improve insulin sensitivity. My mom is diabetic, so if you can use something like water to help your sensitivity, I'm on board, right? Um, other things I was uh, reading about, it says hydrogen can promote intestinal detoxification. So basically helping you detox. It's gonna keep you um, like avoid constipation. If a water- All right, that's enough. So this individual is getting onto TikTok discussing how there has to be this water bottle that she got and was reached out to by this brand that makes your water have hydrogen in it. Now here's the, here's the thing, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna whip out the periodic table here, but I need to make this very obvious and clear. Water has hydrogen. That is the basis of making it exist. Like you have to have it in order to have and make Water, oh my God, oxygen, hydrogen, and then, you know? And the comments are hilarious. They're going on about like, a uh, girl, isn't hydrogen already in water? And she's like, yes, oh my gosh, it is in water, but it makes it like more hydrogen dense. And I'm like, what in the absolute fresh hell does that even mean? More hydrogen dense, but it drives me crazy that other people who struggle when it comes to insulin and so much more, and seeing this, and again, I get it. Like if you see a person that is like showing a product, you might be enticed to purchasing it. I, I literally get it. We've all made impulse buys out of sheer desperation. A water, a water bottle that literally looks like something you can grab from five and below. And whoever made this water bottle, jail. Here's another one about water. I fell down the rabbit hole of water talk and this is talking about dead water. Let's watch this. No, 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 no. Exactly. Why are we violating the water bottles? I'm not liking that at all. Second of all, I don't know why this is necessary because don't get me wrong, I will say I have seen certain waters and water bottles that are just like not actually good for you. Like there are some brands, like I'm gonna be real with you, I personally don't touch Dasani. It does not taste the same. I'm a water woman. I can taste the difference in some of that shit. I cannot, but I just don't like this fear mongering. So I don't know if y'all know, but a lot of those people that are promoting living water or electrolyte infused water, they're the individuals that are promoting a scam. 
Shocker, comment down below if you guys want me to do a deep dive, like a very good deep dive into the world of Kangen Water. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's the companies that are pretty much an MLM where people can join and sell these thousand dollar or more machines that are supposed to make your water 10 times healthier, promoting healing properties. I've seen claims about healing cancer or helping all of your ailments, like insane stuff. Some of these people are like, this is insane, water influencers. And they will go on and talk about how they can heal you through water and it's an investment and it's so worth it. It's one of those things where it's like, it's over pris to hell. Like if you get a Brita, you're gonna be fine, you know? But that's what this is. And so they're trying to push it and be like, look, this is so much better. Look at all this dead water and then this water. And I feel like it's the same energy as when people are like, look at this product that has no chemicals in it. And I'm like, okay, well that, that's physically impossible, Bethany. This next one is about a pill that makes you not smell anymore. Here we go. One thing that will never not piss me off is the feminine hygiene concept that has gone to a different extreme. I am all for taking care of yourself, but what is not important is falsely advertising product to make and give the illusion that you need to take this very random pill, which we don't really know what's in it, to make it to where you don't smell. So I, again, y'all know, I talk about literally everything on this channel and I'm gonna be very clear. You literally have a body part, it's gonna taste and smell like a body part. The last thing that you should do is go to TikTok as a doctor and try a supplement. So a lot of people are discussing that these supplements are chlorophyll, I believe. You're supposed to take a bunch of them and they're apparently supposed to actually get rid of all your body odor. Now I was digging into this because I was super curious a few months ago and I saw a lot of evidence saying that there has not been enough studies or anything to prove that this actually works for you at all. And there's many other professionals who have been able to speak out about this exactly, but a lot of the like daily intake for these are six of these pills a day. All of that to make you not taste like anything, like you, I just doesn't make any sense. You know what this is gonna end up? This is gonna end up in the back of your junk drawer because it doesn't work and you don't wanna take it because it tastes nasty. Please avoid this. Okay, one more video to talk about this. This is, oh my God. We need to talk about this. It just works. When I tell you, they're literally amazing and I have to reorder, but I've taken probiotics. I've taken a refresh pro B. My, my girls will know. I've tried it all, okay? And I'm just like, I feel like I smell like a man sometimes, but whatever. Point is, I've never had something work so quickly and it just blows my mind. So, and this is not sponsored, okay? I bought this myself because I wanted to try it out. But this literally is, it, it is a body deodorizer. Like when I tell you whatever, this be balancing your pH, you just don't smell. And listen, I went to Mexico and I was sweating up a storm. It was hot over there, okay? I went over there for vacation my clothes did not smell like that to me is baffling i took my clothes out smelling all my clothes and i was like there's no way i had my cousin smell my clothes and i was like can you just like can you just tell me that that i'm not crazy it didn't stink i washed anyways of course but this is just listen you're a guy and you smell bad like this is for you if you're a girl you're smelly you won't be smelly no more don't need this. I'm sorry, but I still don't believe this whatsoever. I can't see any supporting evidence to say that like this actually works. Now, if there ever is something that really comes out and genuinely works, I will be very willing to try it and buy it with my own money. If you have like perf insane BO, which that does happen for some people, please talk to a professional because there are ways to be able to help yourself out with that. To me, this feels like such a waste of money. Oh, next one. So how do you know if you need a colon cleanse? Stick with me because what I'm about to share with you is gonna blow your mind. If you've never landed on me before, my name is Nicole Dormory, mother to five, wife to one. There are four symptoms of needing that colon cleanse. Number one, constipation. Constantly constipated, nothing seems to be working. You probably need a cleanse. Number two, nothing works. No matter what supplement you put in your body, everybody's getting these results. You're like, nothing works for me. What's wrong with me? It could be your absorbency. You need a cleanse. No. I love how she mentions that she is a mother, but doesn't list off any credentials to show that we should be listening to her and trusting her advice. A husband to one, mother to five. I have no license. I have no education on this. I'm just a random person that's telling you. I have struggled with IBS before. I've been able to get that under, under control, I would say bad, but a lot of these symptoms are not meaning that you need a colon cleanse. It's just maybe you're struggling with IBS, honestly, or maybe there's something else going on that again, you need to talk to a professional, like a colon cleanse, please. Is it gonna be a tincture or a bunch of random pills again that you're gonna have to take like, oh my God. Number three, you smell bad. 
Number four, most important actually, is you're always tired, you're fatigued, and you're drinking a pot of coffee every single day. You need a cleanse. Hey mama, if you're going through perimenopause or menopause, or you're at least having some symptoms, and you're really tired all the time, nothing seems to be helping, you can't get rid of that belly bulge, it could be several reasons, but begin with the cleanse. Why? Because the primary source of pretty much everything that's going on in your body is your liver and gut health. We need to make sure that your liver isn't overwrought with toxins that are being reabsorbed when you're not sleeping well or you have high cortisol. So let's make sure that we- Reabsorbing toxins if you don't sleep well? If we kept reabsorbing toxins if we didn't sleep well, we wouldn't probably be existing as a species. My college years were so bad because I was working multiple jobs and I was trying to do YouTube at the same time and you know do everything online. I was overloading myself with classes too because I wanted to graduate early. The way I was constantly pushing like 3 a.m. and waking up at like six to seven every day. Oh my God, so bad. If that was actually happening, I feel like I would not be alive right now if that were to be true, unless I'm just lucky according to um, her. Get on top of that gut health by putting in a really good colon cleanse. How do you know if it's a good cleanse? It's gentle, non eventful. You shouldn't be chained to a toilet. Make sure that you're following me here for more tips. And if you can't watch this right now, save it for later and definitely share it out to all those people that you know need to cleanse. Let's move it out. The fact that a lot of people who are seriously desperate for a result are looking for this. And I know it's, it's a really bad rabbit hole that you can fall down and the pipeline that you can essentially go into where you start believing a lot of pseudoscience. So we can start with like essential oils. It always starts with essential oils. They're like the, the clover can heal your digestion and everything. So you start ingesting essential oils and then there are people that will go farther and be like, you need to detox heavy metals. You need to do this. You do, And so much of it is so unnecessary and half the time these people are literally giving themselves more problems than they originally had and it's so bad please you're literally going to give yourself some worse medical bills because you keep screwing with stuff that you shouldn't be next one let's look at a worm cleanse you have worms in your tummy i hope not if you think you do though let's let's hear what we, we're gonna do about that mrs rogers hood okay let's see this the parify kit your 30-day parasite cleanse Let's go over it. Parify. Eat your parasite cleanse. So First problem. Why on the absolute flying foodling fuck does it say three ages three and up? This is not a Fisher Price toy. Why does it say ages three and up? And why are we putting random, random little tinctures in a three-year-old's body. Like I'm not a mom, but please don't do that. My healthy gut feeling is telling you to not do this, please. Unless someone's literally like showing you as a professional, hey, you have worms, let's take care of it. Cause it happens, okay? Please talk to a doctor. Do not listen to some random person. And if you feel sick or if you have IBS, okay, that doesn't mean that you have worms. Please, I am begging you, do not do this shit. Also, this is from her own website. Please do not buy from the delusional sites. In my opinion, this is not safe because like in what world is buying random tinctures on the internet from a stranger that is not a medical professional safe? Stain. It's your candida and your bad bacteria cleanse. Metal flush. It's your heavy metal detox. Cinnabon. It's your binder. We include instructions. We have a nut free option and we ship internationally. We recommend doing it three to four times a year. You can find it right here at Rogers Hood. Now here's the thing. Why do you need to do it three to four times a year? Like what are you doing that you have to cleanse so much? Oh my God. Here's this other one. Before natural detox. I'm gonna do my best to blur this out. This is a child in here. I'm just very cautious. This is not my child. So I'm blurring everything. Just be, you know, I'm, I'm cautious about that. You know, child exploitation, you get that. I'm just very cautious. But it says before natural detox. Okay, so let's go through this entire video one more time. At the beginning, it says sensory aversions, dark under eyes, ticks, not sleeping through the night. Then it looks like there's doing tinctures and sprays into her mouth. And one month in of doing this, she was apparently eating food she would never touch, sleeping through the night, ticks gone. Okay, again, I am not a medical professional. However, I think random tinctures, I am all for trying things if you are desperate, absolutely. What I am not the biggest fan of is overly pushing something with 
no actual medical proof or basis and trying to sell it to a lot of vulnerable mothers. This is something that is always going to piss me off is I've been seeing a huge amount of moms in this like avenue that are pushing and promoting a bunch of products like this. And sadly, I've come to realize a lot of them are actually from multi-level marketing companies. So that just makes it a billion times worse. But they're selling these products talking about, oh, my nonverbal child is speaking now because I did this heavy metal detox. Oh, my child that has autism, he did, they don't have autism anymore. And I'm like, huh? And again, it's a random bottle where it's like, there's no regulation on it. You don't actually really know what's all in there, but they're just making these claims. Like I'm all for trying things. If you are like desperate and you are able to safely test things out, then I understand. I do get that. Be, be very cautious, please. Oh my gosh. I don't want anyone hurt, but I do see a very serious level of predatory behavior happening when it comes to these products that are being sold to a lot of people. Like I'm seeing still more of the heavy metal cleanses. I'm seeing like magnesium sprays. I see people like spraying magnesium on their feet. I see people taking like, like a bunch of pills or making their toddler do these baths with all of these different little tinctures and things inside of the baths and claiming that it is doing miracles to things that it's just, it's not able to do at all. And that bothers me so much. And that makes me so sad. And honestly, like either way, this individual that posted, if there's a lot of problems that your child had that they don't have anymore, like I'm so happy for you. Yay. That's what we want for all kids is for everyone to be happy, healthy little human beings. So this is actually a video of the product that she's using for her child. And let's watch that part. I want to explain to you guys why this detox right here is helping so many kids with speech delay, sensory aversions, tics, focus, eye contact, the list goes on and on. By the way, this is not medical advice. This is from one critical thinking parent to another. At least she said this isn't medical advice. Very quickly, I just finally saw the logo for the company. Let me look up this brand real fast. Pause. So the detox pack how safely helps remove toxic heavy metals, pesticides, a form of mold, microplastics, various other environmental toxins, radioactive materials, antipathogen and immune system boosters, parasites use toxic metals to feed, breed, and hide from the immune system. Passing parasites while detoxing is not uncommon. It is recommended to detox for a full six months with PBX for best results. After that, daily use of the detox pack is recommended since toxic exposure is constant. All right, so let's look into it. What is this whole pack? Detox pack for kids and adults. So for a 30-day supply, you get a monthly subscription instead of $89.39 or a 30-day supply for one-time order is $112. Yup, as I scroll through, it can see that this is a rewarding opportunity that looks like a multi-level market company. It says, quote, direct sales model creates flexibility and lasting leverage as a touchstone essentials. Quote, visionary business owner or VBO, you can build a connected tribe of raving fans where you earn on referrals and a lifetime of reorder. So it's looking and appearing to be a multi-level marketing company. So yeah, um, it's an MLM. How fun is that? Anyways, going back to what she's saying. Sure. This is the PBX spray. It is a natural mineral, specifically nano-sized hydrated clinoptolite zeolite. And nano size does not mean nanotechnology. It just means that the particle size is small enough to detoxify at a cellular level. Basically, so it can travel to parts of the body where just regular old zeolite would not be able to get. It has been proven to remove heavy metals, environmental toxins such as pesticides, mold. Animal studies have shown it can remove fluoride from where fluoride goes. It has an affinity for toxins, which means it seeks out the toxins and leaves all the good stuff behind. Pretty magical if you ask me. These are the gut detox drops, which makes sense to pair with the PBX because the heavy metals and environmental toxins destroy the microbiome of the gut. So when the gut hasn't been functioning properly, you're going to want to detox that as well. And of course, the gut-brain connection is huge. Now I want to get into the connection between this detox doing what it does and the results that parents are seeing. By the way, I invite you to go to the site at the top of my page, join our private Facebook group where you can find a ton of testimonials. So I'm going to take you down the same rabbit hole that I fell down when I detoxed my daughter with this and it took away her sensory aversions. So the first thing that I came across is this heavy metal toxicity chart. It basically breaks down all of these physiological effects that heavy metal toxicity has on the body. So there's sensory abnormalities, there's psychiatric disturbances such as social withdrawal, ADHD and lack of eye contact is mentioned, um, speech disorders, speech delay, gastrointestinal stuff, um, there's even skin issues, pretty much any health issue that exists. 
So this is just one chart I found online from a company that does heavy metal chelation, another way of removing heavy metals, but it does unfortunately remove the good ones as well. So this was pretty convincing, but I decided to take it a step deeper. Considering there's a lot of symptoms associated with autism on here, I decided to see if I could find some type of connection between toxicity, heavy metal toxicity, and autism. So I hopped on PubMed, the most reliable resource I could find as a mom, just searching for information, and I found stuff like this. And this. And this. Basically what all these articles are saying is that they tested a group of children that were diagnosed with autism versus not, and the autism group had significantly higher levels of heavy metals. And there's like kind of more to this, but I don't have enough time to fit it in this video. But in short, what I'm saying is if heavy metals can be linked to these types of symptoms and this gets them out, that's exactly why we're seeing what we're seeing. When it comes to studies with zeolite, which is what is in this product, we do see that there are so many positives that I can see. However, I am, again, really concerned with this whole concept of let's trust a random stranger on the internet for advice with your child who is struggling versus an actual professional. I think that just gets me so nervous because I know there are parents who so like just so deeply love their child and want the best for them. But I just feel like immediately going and resorting to random things on the internet like that is just a little bit alarming to me. But additionally, my thing is, is like if a doctor is recommending things like this to you and actually are like, this is the product I think you should try, I would consider that be totally different. Whereas if we have this other product that's from an MLM, I do not trust that in the slightest because from what I've personally seen, a lot of these multi-level marketing companies aren't, in my opinion, exactly ethical, nor are they really putting a lot of effort into their product. A lot of them are just drop shipped or like white labeled. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily bad. I'm just saying when it comes to products like this, I would be a especially more cautious with them. And I just do not like this idea of let me heal your gut and then the heavy metal detox for children right now, that could just honestly be very dangerous. And again, when it comes to little developing bodies, that is gonna be so much different than a full grown adult. They can take things a lot easier than children who are developing right now. So are there positive reviews of people who've purchased this that have absolutely no affiliation with the company whatsoever and genuinely love what's going on? I just would like to see more evidence back up on this but again just please be careful because I oh my gosh I know that this is such a huge thing right now with promoting all these tinctures and things just be cautious and take actual legit medical advice don't just randomly trust buying an 80 an 80 dollar pack off the internet a monthly subscription and then and you don't even know if it's going to work or not what if there are bad reviews in these products that we have yet to see and there have been serious side effects please just be so careful okay please be so careful with all these recommendations because just because it's trending or just because some other mom is trying to follow a holistic pro approach or homeopathic approach doesn't always mean that it is good for you. So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below, guys, if you've seen any other really weird TikTok health fads or if there's any other example of this, please send them to like my Instagram or my email down in the description below. I'd love to see them. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.